welcome to lesson 20 in the creation of our school management system so we're going to continue in this lesson with the designing of our payment user form so basically that is what we shall be doing here so as you can see we then have to switch back to design mode and then go ahead and do that let's just go ahead and edit this so we have uh, female and with the male one here as if so we don't need this so we have male so let us go ahead and change the names so we have opt1 and then opt2 let's check the command buttons so we say cmd reset cmd close cmd search and then finally cmd update but we are good to go with this so let's just check on the, the next thing let's say the colors and other stuffs we shall be giving to our what do you call it the the form so let us go ahead and then check on that so let's go ahead and execute all that so but before we do that let's just check on something here like um, the font first yeah okay okay let's just check on the color so make sure the frame inside the frame is selected now let us go and check on the background color so we go to the back color come to the palette let's choose I think uh, this color will be okay okay now let's just select the entire labels control press and hold control select this We want to come back to back style and change the transparent the four color should be white we would want to go to the font we would want to bold the font times new roman increase it to nine and then say okay you can see so installation stuff is are hidden so okay we can equally work on something like that so we can just select this and then open up this a bit so this looks okay and not bad so let's select them again and see something let's come back to the special test effect and choose sunken this one okay i think this is okay and perfectly running so let's just debug it and see it doesn't look bad at all so you can combine choose any color of your choice this is what i can do so let us check on the the user form itself the user form itself make sure it's selected by clicking outside here that's why i say make sure there's a space here let's just go back to the back color To the palette, we choose something like this. Good, and let's come back inside the frame here. Take the back color as well. This is palette, choose something like this inside the user form back color. Let's choose something like this. Let's debug it and see. Oh, it's working perfectly for us. I think it's okay. Let's just check on the click inside the frame and then make sure inside the frame is selected. Let's go to the font. Press and hold control after selecting the first frame. Press and hold control and select the second frame here too. So you can format this text as well. So we go to fonts directly and then figure out that. We want to bold it. 
change the Times New and then the font to Times New Roman and the size to 14 and then this looks okay. Good. So let's just change the caption of the first frame. It's called frame one. The caption is missing, so let's just change it to uh, update payment. Why are we changing this? This one shouldn't be update payment, right? Oh gosh, uh, I've made a mistake, mistake somewhere. <laughs> Have I copied and paste this? Okay. Oh gosh. What is happening? Okay, let me just uh, click inside this frame. Let me just right click and see something. Let me delete the. F oh, sorry. Let me just undo the action. I've chosen the, the two frames at the same time. Or what have I done then? Okay, choose this frame as well. What's gonna be? Well, how come the captions are missing? Okay, let me just undo my action. Oh, sorry, let me this right. So, okay, it doesn't matter. Let's just check on that just to update. <laughs> Payment, sorry, and say payment database. I've just noticed it. Make sure one of them is selected first before we do that. So make sure the first one is selected. Now we can say what happened was we selected the two, so it was taking effect on the two. Update payment. So select this one as well and say. Payment database. Good. So everything is now okay. Now um, let's just check on our buttons, right? Let's check on our buttons design. So let's select the buttons. Click on this, press and hold control and select the rest. First of all, let's go to the fonts. Go to the font and then. Uh, Let's check on um, We want to bold it times new Roman. Increase the font size to 10. Then okay. This looks good, right? The back uh, the, the, the back color of the font. Let's check on that. And the dark red will be good. And the four color should be white. Just to make the, the text pop up well. Good. Let's just debug it and see. It's okay. Now let's just check on click on the user form and then let's change the caption to payments or fees payment form fees payment form good that looks good and awesome and then what is the next thing to do we're going to work on our list box as well. so make sure the list box is selected here then we go back and then uh, let's just check on the um, screw up column heads yes to set it to two so that we can have the column heads column counts let's say one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen column count is thirteen right We have that up and running, it's already divided. And then what next? Um, uh, column heads. Now let's check on the column width. Now let's assign the column width for each and every column. So let's just go ahead and start with the admission number. We want to give it eighty. So comma. Sorry, after eighty, comma. Then the next one name. Give it one eighty, comma. So the name we go to class we give it 100 comma for the class we go to gender 100 comma 
for gender we go to admission dates 180 comma for admission date we go to fees fees should be 80 80 comma after fees we go for the installations all of them should be 120 120 so 120 120 123 124 so all the fees should be 100 after the fees we have the receive the receive should be 100 balance should be 100 and then finally status should be 100 so we are done with that as well so you can see that it's now working up and running so everything is okay for us now let's just check on something here let's just um okay i think we'll just end here or let's go to the um the excel sheet and then go ahead and execute our um what do you call it the name manager functionalities over there so let's go back to the uh, the fees collection sheets and then go ahead and do that so that the next time we come we just copy and paste the formulas to have our form up and running so that is that now let's make sure we come to the formula tab and choose name manager we're creating new one here as usual so let's name this one fees don't forget of the name so we would want to delete all this okay but before we do that why do i always forget of this so let's just name here one and all that so we have this here under the admission number so we go to the name manager now A new one we'll give it name fees but so you can clear whatever we have here without any issue so now let's just go ahead and type our formula so we have offset then you open your brackets and select this then we have a comma one comma zero comma then counter sorry counter then into bracket we can now select the entire column like this now select the entire column like this and we close the brackets and we type minus one comma and then type 13 then you close your bracket you can click on ok let's see how the formula is going to work when we click inside here we have the first row selected and then it's working perfectly so make sure you do exactly the same thing offset so type in offset, open your bracket, select the admission number column, then comma one, comma zero, and then counter, open another bracket and select the entire column by clicking here. They close your bracket, then minus one, comma, and 13. They close your bracket and then that and sit there. Good. So don't forget of the name, we have fees. So let's go back to our uh, user form and make sure the the what's the name? The list box is selected so let's go to the row source and figure out that the row source is going to be fees right fees row source row source row source good so we type fees here so we have that so we have our text line up here for us let's just go back to the text align and then center it good let's go to the font and then figure out whatever is happening there so let's check on font times new roman bold it's 10 that is okay good so let's just debug it and see perfectly everything is working perfectly and perfectly and perfectly without any stress so if you follow this tutorial very well you'll be able to achieve our set objectives and that is what to get this form up and running for our schools and our organizations so I would like to say thank you very much for watching this tutorial and then wait for the next video so I'll be able to follow and follow very well. Thank you very much for watching and bye for now.